We have a lot of tea to cover in today's weekly respill. Ariel finally exposed that she knew something was up with Ned and Alex. Khloe Kardashian has roasted Courtney so bad it burns. And Kanye West's new merch is seriously disturbing. So let's get into it. The whole Ned Fulmer cheating scandal broke the internet this year. It was intense and it completely destroyed the Try Guys. But they picked themselves back up and they're better than ever before. Since all this drama went down, more and more has come to light, including past clips resurfacing that all kind of piece together and make sense now. A while back when Ariel was being cheated on, in a podcast episode she discussed that she thought something was wrong in their relationship. I had the same thing to do one day Mm -hmm. Uh, and we were here in the office and we we were doing like some PR for the cookbook. We did it and I, we, we drove our our car separately here because I think I had, you know, I probably had a podcast in the morning or something like that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I knew, you know, like we, both of us were done for the day Mm -hmm. and at, you know, 4.30, I'm like, okay, I need to go home so that I can be home when then, you know, to Mm -hmm. take care of the kids. And Ned's like, okay, I'll see you in like an hour and a half. I was like, why? Yeah. What, what, why, why don't I stay here and (laughs) do work and, and and I'll see you in an hour and a half. You know, it was just such an interesting thing. The clip from that podcast happened to resurface around the exact same time that fans discovered something else that was disturbing. Back in September of this year, there was a paparazzi video that surfaced of Ariel being interrogated about if she and Ned were still together. Hey, are you guys working in, working things out? Uh, Yeah. You are? Pretty much when the car left, fans noticed the number plate of the Tesla and did some digging. It turns out that a Karen in the neighbourhood had complained about this very car on next door, saying that people were having sex in this car at quarter to six while kids and families were walking around. Obviously now we realise that Ned and Alex were cheating in this car, and if we throw back to that clip of Ariel talking in the podcast about her suspicions, it's not hard to put two and two together. She didn't fully realise at the time what was going on, but she was in fact getting cheated on. And it was happening in their car while she was busy running around after their kids. So many fans have been re-watching Try Guys Without a Recipe series and a lot of fans in the comments noted how Ned began overcompensating his relationship by dedicating things for Mummy's Favourite, which was just copying Keith's Daddy's Favourite segment. This didn't sit right with a lot of fans. Also, the fact that Ned and Alex were caught engaging weirdly in videos where they appeared together because fans have now realised they were sleeping together together while filming those episodes. Moving on from this, there's some Kardashian sister drama that's going down. There was recently this really saucy interview that Chloe and Courtney did together, where basically Courtney would ask Chloe questions whilst Chloe had a lie detector on her. Chloe obviously couldn't lie, but also didn't want to be rude when Courtney asked her a couple of questions. And the answers Chloe gave made fans howl. Firstly, Courtney asked Chloe if she liked her wedding dress, and here's what she'd said. Did you like my wedding? dress it was fine <laughs> Sam <laughs> inconclusive oh my gosh inconclusive I mean it was beautiful for sure I just would have loved to see you <laughs> that at the after party and then something prior. So the interview got even more intense. Courtney asked Chloe if she would ever let True stay the night at her house and Chloe was like, hell no. Are you ever gonna let True sleep over at my house? Probably not. Okay, and is that because we have too much fun? No. Like, what is the reason then? I don't think we have enough time on this show for what the reason is. Okay. Although Chloe never went in depth surrounding her reasoning for not letting her daughter stay at Courtney's house, fans had their suspicions in the comments. Apparently it's because Courtney's parenting style is much different than Chloe's. For example, Courtney is always getting called out for how horribly behaved her children are. There was even an episode on Keeping Up with the Kardashians where Penelope the nanny. I'm not even kidding. And her parents didn't even blink an eye and let her get away with it. But Corey said that he would speak Penelope if she was misbehaving. And Courtney and Scott went off at him for that. People are claiming that Courtney's kids are horrid because she's not strict enough with them and they're spoiled brats. Chloe is probably concerned that her daughter might start playing up if she stays with Courtney because Courtney is all about letting her kids have too much fun. 
Kanye West is no stranger to controversy, and over the years he has faced a number of controversies related to his music, his personal life, and his political views. Kanye West's downfall began during and before his divorce. Back in July 2021, West made headlines when he claimed that he'd been trying to divorce Kim for over a year. The couple later reconciled, but the controversy sparked a conversation about mental health and the impact of fame on relationships. In the runner-up to the 2020 presidential election, West made a number of controversial statements, including a claim that he was running for president. Despite initially saying that he was serious about running, West eventually withdrew his candidacy and endorsed President Joe Biden. West has also faced controversy in the past for his use of music samples, as well as for his comments about various social and political issues. Despite the controversies, however, West remains a popular and influential figure in the music industry at the moment, and his music continues to be widely acclaimed by fans and critics alike. It seems like almost every day this year Kanye has been appeared in shocking headlines after continuously being offensive to the point where it cost him his half billion dollar empire. So Kanye was under fire in 2022 this past year for his anti-Semitism. So social media apps, wealthy brands and influential individuals all cut ties with him. However apparently the controversial rapper is still not done with his toxic rhetoric nor has his views changed. According to the Animated Times, a picture of Ye's new merchandise, Ye24, is doing rounds on social media. The clothing pictured boasted the Nazi swastika symbol in an altered form, but it's pretty clear it is what it is, just when you thought things couldn't get any worse. Although the pictures are not apparently official, the rumour indicates that the disgraced rapper might be working on these items. He also hasn't debunked these rumours, by the way. Kanye has not shied away from admitting his fondness for Hitler. In a recent interview on The Alex Show, he'd stated that he saw good things about Hitler. I th there's a lot of things that I love about Hitler. A lot of things. The rapper added that he felt the Jewish media has made the public feel he has never offered anything of value to the world. He further went on to praise Hitler for his inventions. The 45-year-old also reportedly wanted to name his 2018 album after Hitler. Users commented under Kanye's new alleged merch that was trending on Twitter, free speech, hold the line and keep pushing forward. Kanye's favourite t-shirts. So what are your thoughts on all the tea covered today? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more celebrity updates.